rebound comes out, and the Chippewas get a fresh 30. Braylon Rayson for three. And the first three and points go to Braylon Rayson. He'll pull up straight away. Rebound by Cecil Williams underneath, and he's back up for two. Cecil Williams, something the Chippewas have been missing. Racing a good job after the turnover of deflecting the ball. Here comes McKay. He'll go right to the basket with the right hand. It'll stay down, and a three-point opportunity coming up for the freshman, Kevin McKay. See where the Chippewas go to offensively as they're struggling to score. Cecil Williams rattles home a triple. Williams loves to hang around in that paint area. Keen attacks. Oh. oh, and the spin off. Great shot from Marcus Keen as he weaves his way down the paint. Taylor, a turnaround baseline shot, crawls over the rim, and a near steal goes to Rayson, and that's how the first half comes to an end. So a sloppy first half for both teams. Chippewas going a little bit of a run, but still a 10-point game at the break. We'll see if Mary Grove can respond. Nice pass. Absolutely, Nate Taylor with the finish. Mismatch, Rayson just pulls up and he cashes it. Six points already for Rayson in the second half. Keen again swoops in, scores, and back to the line. Marcus Keen is headed. Four seniors graduate last year, and here come the freshmen as Matty Smith nearly gets a turnover. Another freshman hustles to the floor. He gets it up to McKay and up to Rayson. That's great stuff. All started, and it doesn't happen without the Matty Smith play. Deron Scott and Luke Meyer can do these things. McKay with the two-handed flush. That's probably correct. <laughs> Contested three is answered on the other end by Daryl Ivey. Here comes Rayson. Kaczynski, catch and shoot. There it is. One on one the other way. Whistles call the shot of foul, oh. and Isaac Gilliam able to get to the free throw line over Josh Kaczynski. Nice shot. Chippewa's got a chance to be special this season as Hibbett slides it up and hits another. That was McKay. He's going to go in for another jam. <laughs> Above the rim. Well, this is the best part of the game, isn't it? Seeing the walk-ons and the guys that are on the scout team get some minutes and get some opportunities. <laughs> what it did. And the clock will run out on Mary Grove as we're under five seconds. One more basket for the Mustangs, but it's night belongs to Central Michigan as the Chippewas route the Mustang. Well, I think it's really important for us, um, especially with such a young team, uh, that they understand we have to get better. And they would enjoy getting better to be able to do that while they play a game, um, much like in practice, that we have to work on our offensive execution and we have to work on our defensive uh, stance and our rebounding. And when you talk about getting wins, yes, but we also want to use each of these nights um, as a learning process.